James, do you hire honey pots? Did you hire me as a honey pot? No, no, we don't hire honey pots. I mean, first of all, what does that even mean, honey pot? Journal the whole idea of journalism, Anna, and you know, you and I have worked together. In full disclosure, Anna was a worked for me as a journalist, as an undercover journalist. We call them UCJs. And the whole reason we do undercover work is because there's this tension in journalism between access and autonomy. In other words, you don't want to get too cozy with your source. If you just relay what people in the government tell you on the record, you're often lying to people because what they relay to you is not always true. It's just propaganda. It's just what the government wants you to believe. So Anna, Anna Kate, went undercover in Washington, D.C. at ca cafes and coffee shops and restaurants and listened to people like Stuart Carafa, who was a mid-level employee at the State Department, tell her, and I, I'm quoting him, so forgive me for saying this. These are his words, not mine. Stuart Carafa saying things like, we want to F shit up. You know, we want to cause trouble. There were other, at every level. Mm -hmm. other employees that were recorded, you know, Anna's colleagues making statements about, well, we don't really work. We don't show up to work. This was an abuse of taxpayer dollars. Mm -hmm. and, and, and thank you for exposing that. And it was courageous for you. And also, I would, I would add, you were quite selfless because you didn't have a byline. People didn't know you were doing this. And then the New York Times attacked you with this mendacious hit piece. So this book, American Muckraker, talks a lot about how things have fallen. But yeah, we should get into this hit piece and talk about its impacts on you as well. 